So hi everybody, this is Ujwa and I'm back with another video and this video is very important. This video is very important, very, very, very important because finally I have realized, I have understood the importance of the videos I make on Daily Reminder. You know, uh, I have just realized that the kind of reminder I give to my viewers, you, I think it is the reminder for myself. Like it happens, I wake up daily um, and then I don't have any anything to do. Like I feel like, okay, I'm an English trainer. So what should I do? Like, should I prepare myself for teaching, uh, training, or should I do some practice? So this morning what happened, I had a class at my place, uh, but the class got canceled for a reason and I, and I sat down with some books and I read some wisdom and after that i i was talking about those lines those magnificently wise lines i was i was reading and when i was reading them i realized that wow i should be talking about them so then i was talking alone like in my room there was nobody i was talking about those lines and they gave me a lot of refined uh, thought like wisdom i would say so I think uh, sometimes it's, it's important, like you can do it if let's say you are reading a book and you are actively reading it because I can divide reading into two parts like passive reading and act active reading. So active reading is this when you are reading and you are actually there, like you are completely there, your body and mind, you both are there, right? A passive reading on the other hand is pretty distracting like you are reading but your mind is some, somewhere else but you are holding a book so it happens when I read like I also sometimes read passively when I'm in crowd like I can't stop myself from reading so I read everywhere but when I'm in public let's say I'm surrounded with a lot of people then I then I'm not able to focus like I read passively so I have realized that daily reminder is really important because we are master procrastinator. If you look at our behavior, the most important work we do at the 11th hour, meaning that we are waiting for that work uh, to say goodbye to us. You know, we are waiting uh, some for somebody outside who can tell us that, hey, don't do the work because you don't have to do it right now. Um, so we like daily reminder is important like i upload videos like this to uh, alert you to to give you a notification about your practice but the most important thing for an individual like me who is also an english learner as i always say that i'm an experienced english learner so for me it is important that i remind myself of the practice right so uh, i was thinking last night that you know i have been uploading videos on daily reminders but it has significantly worked for me like uh, it is one of the efficient uh, ways to just uh, remind myself uh, what I need right so I, um, I I would like to urge you to you know be your own motivation meaning just go out there and take a particular topic and get started if you remember, I made a video on first step. I would tag the video in the description. Just check it out. That video is one of my favorite videos because, you know, first step is really important. So I can start my first point from here. Taking the first step. Are you taking the first step? Or you are putting off the step, that first step for some other time. If you're doing so, then you are doing injustice to your English, you are doing injustice to your growth, right? So if you are an English learner, I really don't have any idea about your level. You could be uh, a beginner or pre-beginner stage or, or you could be an intermediate student or you have been learning English for a while. I really don't have any clue about your progress, your level. So you can let me know in the comment section if you want to. But what I'm trying to say here is that the first step is really important for everybody, whether uh, somebody is a pre-beginner stage, somebody is at a pre-beginner stage or, or somebody is at beginner stage. Whatever the stage you are in, I think it's very important for you to take the first step. So uh, today I'll be talking about 
how can you refine your first step the first step is something that you start doing so let's say you don't feel like practicing english just like right now if you're watching my video right now then just pause the video all right and just say some words about me like say some sentences about me like the kind of relationship we have made right right from the first day when you subscribe to my channel so the kind of relationship we have made so just um, you know talk about that okay this is the first step so when you see like after uh, you you have paused my video and then you talked about something that you know came into your mind because um, that's impromptu right that's very much in, in impromptu so it's not scripted whatever came into your mind you just talked about that so that's the first step right so wherever you are so let's say you are in public and you observe your surrounding and you see that people are doing so many different things so in your head you can be talking about uh, those things like you can say wow that man is looking so smart um, he's wearing sunglasses he's talking so smartly so okay let me observe him so this kind of conversation you can have in your ha head right i call it observational practice so when you do this observation observational practice like from first step first step was our first point now i would like to jump in observational practice so observational practice is pretty interesting like i do it every single time while reading books or listening to any podcast like i'm just keeping my eyes open to the things that are around me so i do it every day i do it every day so first step first step is uh the the, the first step we have talked about the second step second step is observational practice so the first step in in observational practice is that you have to be very alert alert about what's happening around you right now if you are watching my video uh, with a lot of attention with rapt attention then you must have observed the kind of uh, a behavior i have with my mic microphone and uh, my eye contact right i'm not so comfortable with microphone and my camera but i, I tr this is my practice you know what i mean so you can observe this and you can talk about myself so you can say i follow ujwal my name is ujwal uh, like you are watching ujwal discussion so you can say i follow somebody named ujwal who speaks english and who gives daily reminder he is kind of a guy who talks um, without script and he sounds very stupid for that reason so you can say your version right so i can make uh, uh, fun of myself right i can do that so i love doing that by the way so uh, what i'm trying to say here is that it's very important for you to just observe your surrounding and put some words okay just put some words about what you can see around you so that's point number two observational practice Point number three is very important. Point number three is that you have to be very aware of your time wasters. Can you spot the places where you are wasting your valuable time? You just have to spot your time waster. It could be some apps, right? It could be anything. It could be YouTube. It could be Instagram. It could be Facebook. It could be, um, you know, with, with your friends or watching TV, right? So there you spend the most time. Uh, so I, I would say, why don't you convert those wasting time into practicing time? What I mean by that? like let's say you were watching a youtube video and when you were watching a youtube video why don't you just have a conversation with yourself like most of the time we watch youtube videos alone so why don't you start talking about the video you are watching right don't do the multitasking don't just uh, watch five videos at a time we do that like like we are watching one video for two minutes then now that we go to the another video because that gets boring don't do that just stick to a video like this video and talk about that what are you learning from that video right so oh, after that you 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 can say you know whenever i watch 
YouTube videos, I never waste time. I watch and at the same time, I practice. Because at the end of the day, whatever you are watching, whatever the content you are receiving as a resource, you have to put them into verbal practice. So last time my uh, student Sanjana was talking about verbal practice. Verbal practice is missing. We do listening, we read, um, you know, we do a bunch of things, but we never practice. And now the problem is that you don't get enough opportunity to talk to people. People. Like if you say, okay, I'm an English learner, I'm looking for a partner, trust me, nobody is going to help you. It is you who has to become your own partner. So for that reason, it's very important that you go out there, you go out there and you give yourself some time to talk. Like, uh, you know, the kind of presentation we give at college or um, somewhere in the office that we stand up in front of the people and then we talk um, about something. We we, we explain any kind of like PPT or something like that. So why don't you do that alone? Like in your room, you quarantine yourself. Nobody is allowed to enter your room. You are there alone and you, you keep talking about that concept, right? So if you remember the first step, first step is this, that you have to take the first step. You know, first step is everywhere, right? So once you have taken the first step, it gets easier for you to take the uh, following steps right so as i said that first step video if you haven't watched that video please 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 watch that video because it's it's a very useful video so i was talking about wasting time how can you convert your waste time wasters into practice when you do that you see that there are a lot of benefits you are getting right so point number three is that you have to convert all your time wasters into practice point number four is a small practice point number four is very interesting it is one of my one of my favorite topics you know like i do it it is one of my favorite things i do it almost every day you know so let's say uh, i've got a break like break from my work what i do i simply talk about anything like whatever i can see i talk about that for two minutes for three minutes um and the best thing is that you know i call somebody whom i can have a conversation with about that subject if that person is free he or she gives me some time and i i, I just do that so it's very important that you pick up small time for yourself it could be three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, max to max 15 minutes, and you just have a conversation. Like if the, if you've got somebody whom you can have a conversation with, then you are not going to um, have a conversation. Like you are not going to talk uh, 15 minutes solid, but yeah, you can listen to that person. Listening is one of the best things that you can do. Uh, you can get probably six, seven minutes in that conversation to talk. So that's great, right? So uh, I turn to this thing, like I turn to two minutes conversation, three minutes practice, four minutes practice, you know, this thing really helps. So small practice, it will definitely help you. So that's our four point number four. So you can do like five words pronunciation, like you go for that. You, you choose five words and then you pronounce those words. You try to pronounce those words. Uh, that, that, is, that is a four minutes practice. And uh, what you can do with these small minutes, you can do the basic. You can talk about basic, like uh, basic topics or you can work on your basics. So it could be like what you did yesterday. It's a very small practice. You have to do if you are uh, you know, passionate enough to to take your English to the next level, uh, uh, then you have to do it. Like, mm, take your yesterday for an example and talk about it. When, ask yourself this question. When did I wake up yesterday? What did I do after breakfast? Uh, where did I go in the evening yesterday? Ask these questions to yourself. Why am I saying this to you? Because a lot of English learners, they speak good English, but they are not comfortable asking questions. Why? Because asking question is a different thing, right? You have to practice it. So why don't you start from yourself? Uh, start asking yourself the questions like, uh, and then you see that you change the noun, you change the pronoun, and you can ask questions to others very easily. So you can do this just using two to three minutes that you have in your hand and uh, just do this. This is really important, right? Small practice, it is certainly going to change your English. Point number five, quote practice. Okay, this probably, this is going to be a very new thing to you. I know that. Last time, if you remember, I made a video on APJ Abdul Kalam's quote. Um, I think these five quotes that I actually shared with you, they're one of my life-changing quotes that I've ever applied in my life. 
so i really you can you can go with that like in the end of the video i uh, amassed all five uh, quotes and i give a picture of it so you can just take a screenshot of that particular uh, uh, of those particular quotes and you can start one by one if you haven't watched that video the video is there in the description please check it out now let's get back to our original point and that is code practice code practice is really important and uh, what do i mean by code practice take a quote just inspiration search inspiration quotes on uh, google and you see you get bunch of quotes on Google, right? So start from one. It could be like, so uh, let me give you an example. So it could be use it or lose it. Okay, use it or lose it. It could be the quote, all right? So let's say you are an English learner. You speak English and it is a skill you know. So if you don't use this skill every day, then you will lose it. And this particular wisdom can be applied anywhere. Um, use it or lose it let's say you have a good body and a healthy body and if you work out every day then you can use it properly right you can you can use it properly um, if you use it then you cannot lose it right so if you don't use it then you will lose it so um, you have to use your fit body uh, to do certain hard stuff so that you can uh, strengthen your body you can come in contact with the uh, kind of capacity you have the power you have right ability you have so uh, this particular quote can be applied here so you can talk about this I, I've just given you an example right you can get bunch of uh, quotes uh, inspirational motivational quotes you just have to go with your category I don't know your category so just go out there and find a quote and start your quote practice I just want to end this video here I know that I have talked a lot about uh, so many different things but five points that you need to remember if you don't remember these five points then I think somewhere you are going to lose your English as I said use it or lose it so use your time and make your english great all right i got if i get back to the fourth point i guess fourth point was a small practice i don't know but i said that small practice so i i've done the small practice i got 15 20 minutes because i have a class i'm i'm shooting this video in the afternoon so i have a class uh, from 4 p.m okay uh, and i have to actually cover up a uh, cover a distance because it takes 40 to 45 minutes from my home to my institute so i'll go there i'll reach there at, at four and uh, so before that i thought okay i should be using this time uh, to making a video and i've just done this so small time i've utilized it what are you gonna do today how are you going to use your small time or the entire day please let me know in the comment section till then you take care